What's up everyone? It's Lee here, the rental guy. Sunday, welcome to the vlog. For those of you who don't know, I own a party rental business. Wasn't always like this, started in the garage. I uh, went to a bay. Got into a bigger bay and then eventually we're here. Uh, right now we're in the middle of summer vlogs, so I'm doing weekly vlogs to just tell you about the progress and uh, this is it. This week my program tells me that I made 14.6K. We had, what did we have out? We had a 20 by 60 tent. Uh, a 10 by 20 tent. No, that's good. Uh, a 10 by 20 tent and then a whole bunch of uh, and then a whole bunch of people coming and picking up, as well as a few deliveries on top of that. Okay, I know what you're wondering. You're wondering what kind of items are going out on a weekly basis. So um, I'm actually just gonna show you what's gone out this week, uh, according to my program, Bookable. Okay, so taking a look at things, looks here like I've got 48 orders uh, that have went through this week. Some are already returned and some are to be returned tomorrow. Um, 10 by 20 pop-ups, 10 by 10 pop-ups, marquee letters, some mini ones, some mason jars, some tents. Uh, then we've got some large marquee letters. You can see those ones are going out there. Uh, we've got 50 foot strands of bistro lights, five foot round tables, six foot plastic folding tables, photo booth backdrops, barbecue, eight foot ABS tables, card games, speakers, on folding chairs, uh, projectors, chair covers, cocktail tables, cotton candy machine, dance floor, padded chairs, dinner forks and knives and dinner plates, uh, drapery panels, photo booths, uh, connect four yard game, some giant Jengas, three of those going out. Uh, four orders with some gray, five orders with some gray folding chairs. A microphone, photo booth stand, some picnic tables, laser tag, projector screens, some tablecloths, reverse dunk tank, some dessert plates, some sheer panels, karaoke machines, some uprights, some steaks for tent weights, some teaspoons, uh, table runners, subfloor, soup bowls, snow cone machine. We've got some cords, a circle arch, easel, uh, white padded resin chairs, uh, some pop-up tents, some more photo booths, some whiskey barrels. What we have here is we got these new carts because uh, before we were putting everything on carts and then we realized that there's so many events that are just on grass and it's so hard to roll things over on grass. So uh, we now use uh, the super long retractable ratchets uh, with the carts uh, so that everything's mobile, right? You just have to tilt it to turn or else you just go straight like this and it goes great over grass. So this is 40 chairs right here, and look how easy it is to go up into the trailer. Plus, I have a hurt back right now. Anyway, so right here, we're just looking at the showroom here. Not much of a showroom at this point because things are coming out and they're going, and uh, it's very picked through, right? And... Um, what I've learned is that you need dedicated spaces for things. You can't have a multi-space um, because there's just too much going on. So right here, I've actually got a linen press and we're gonna block it off and make the showroom just a little bit smaller. So we're gonna block off this front area so that we can do all the linens just right here. Uh, right now, it's just not really showroom clients. Everyone's in the middle of wedding and um, you know, they're not like, hey, let's plan our wedding. It's more so like, hey, let's prep, uh, you know, 30 orders. I've been averaging anywhere from uh, 30 to 45 orders a week, which is absolutely fantastic.
So the warehouse needs organization. We are adding a whole bunch more shelves and uh, it's looking very uh, well. Last week when we were doing pickups and drop-offs, uh, we had a problem where things started bottlenecking, right? Uh, I wasn't here to delegate and the guys just didn't know where to put things and they couldn't put things away fast enough with the forklift to the frequency that people were coming back and it caused a big problem. So uh, this coming week, we have made a new strategy and our strategy is to have pallets sitting outside. Here, I'll open up this door. Normally before it was like, hey, people would come back, we would roll some of these carts out to them and we would help them stack up their rentals and then we were supposed to roll it uh, back in towards the back. But that wasn't working. There was, you know, uh, 10 people coming at once and it was mayhem and this and that. Plus, lots of my guys are still in school right now, so I only had two guys at the warehouse when there should be four people uh, manning pickups on Mondays when everyone's returning. So uh, you see how I've got these parking stalls in front of my shop here. So when everyone returns in the morning, tomorrow, Monday morning, I'm going to have pallets lined up here, pallets lined up there, and then I'm going to have a pallet jack that can just wheel them out so that people can put their orders back on the pallets. And then when we're ready, we just wheel them right back into the shop and then we can put them away. So nothing bottlenecks inside the bay uh, and then there's not mass confusion. Um, the touch screens have been absolutely fantastic. The guys have been using them good. So we've got this touch screen right here at this door. And then if you come around this way, we've got a, we've also got, uh, you know, all of our round tables on these carts. So uh, these carts can roll out and uh, people are returning round tables. We'll have the carts right there. We can roll them in. See, there's an empty uh, round table cart right there. And uh, yeah, coming over this way we've got the the tool desk and then we've got another little ipad uh device a little tablet right here where we can uh, print off the labels and then we can also uh, look at the orders to pack the orders on this guy right here anyways i'll get more into this as uh we do a warehouse tour as soon as uh we have a dead week which hopefully doesn't happen uh then we will uh, go through everything and show you how the operations have uh, fully changed and what it looks like when it's fully cleaned and organized in this uh, chaotic, beautiful, uh, terrible thing that we do, that I do, that you watch. Anyways, with staff, just come back and double check the shop. If I leave them there, like uh, that doesn't look like a locked up trailer to me. And uh, the back of the van was open and some lights were on good times always watch over your staff to make sure they're doing the right thing oh yeah um and if you haven't already checked out i do these vlogs every week so you can click right here uh you can click right here to uh check out the whole playlist of all the different kinds of vlogs go check it out right now click there right here